Hi guys, Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, I am coming at you live now from my couch because I just wanted to check in, see how everyone's doing. How are we doing? We okay? We doing okay? Yeah. Um, here's, I'm not going to talk about a lot about what's happening. I just, here's what I wanted to pop on and say is that a lot of people are very worried and concerned and um, I totally understand, right? It's, it's can sometimes unnerving. Here's what I will tell you is that I promise just like it's going to be different from here on out. Think about all major things that have shifted the landscape in our lives, right? Um, all for the good. So maybe they'll have hand sanitizer at the beginning of every store like entrance and exit of every store from here on out, like forever. Cool. You know, great. Those are the kind of the things that I'm focusing on. Like, this is going to be fine. We're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. Um, I promise. I promise. It's going to be okay. If that's comforting for you, awesome. <laughs> if you're like, what? I swear, it's going to, it's going to be better. Um, just so you guys know, like I, ha you know, I have three kids. And they have just sent out an email that they canceled all events. So, I mean, this does impact the lives and the, um, you know, landscape for things right now for a lot of people. My daughter is in a play and they canceled like all the things. Hi, Katie. Um, so she doesn't, she was supposed to have a play performance tonight and tomorrow. She's supposed to have two. She's not having those anymore. Um, which is okay, right? Like she's in sixth grade. It's fine. Right. And in terms of like history, it's going to be fine. But I mean, there's a lot of things that are just being shifted and changed in terms of schedules, which, um, again, just means that I think from here on out, different procedures will be in place that will be helpful for us as humans in the future. You know, like when 9-11 went down and then, you know, flying from there on out has changed and there's different security measures. Okay. So I expect something like that, right? Like, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. It just might look a little different after, but it's all going to be good, right? It's all going to be good. The one thing I do want to tell you is that um, the one thing you can do is always still stay focused on what you want out of your life. Don't let the fear part kind of take over in terms of derailing you from all success. When I speak on women's health, when I talk about health in general, I'm really talking about, you know, health designed to help women's bodies function better and get you to your goals. And we are just finishing today's the last day. It's day five of the five day challenge that I did. These gals are seeing amazing results and I want to be able to celebrate them. I want to be able to say, Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. I had a gal who said she lost three pounds this week. Gut is feeling better than ever. Everything is, she's like, this is amazing. And I'm gonna be like, okay, I want to fill everybody's news feed with some positivity, with some good news, with some amazing things, because there's still amazing things happening. So, um, <laughs> you know, so for as much as stuff got canceled, you know, and my kids don't have activities, they still have school. Like the, I live in Minneapolis, so the CDC and everything else does not recommend closing down the schools in the state or anything like that. Like they're fine. Right. So funny. Side note. My daughter came home on the bus the other day and she was like, mom, so-and-so, I can't remember the kid's name. She was like, she has like rubbing alcohol and gloves and a mask in her bag. Her mom made her pack. And I was like, why? <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, I get it. But like sending your kid to school with a whole bottle of rubbing alcohol. Wow. That's, you know what I mean? I was like, they've, the teachers have busted out all the hand sanitizer. They're cleaning everything like triple time. They're cleaning all the buses, all the things. And I'm like, well, and for kids, they are really, you know, resilient. And statistically from all the research that I read so far, which I have not read a lot because I'm not, you know, kids are really, um, you know, if they get ill, they get better really quickly. So, you know, it's only people that are really elderly or have, um, immune compromise that they have to worry. So I totally understand that, but, um, but it's, it is kind of an interesting time. It's one of those surreal times that we will look back on and think, oh, wow, that was nuts. Okay. <laughs> but maybe, maybe grocery carts are going to have like squirty hand sanitizer, like automatically on them. Right. Okay. Somebody, oh, this is a million dollar idea for someone out there grocery cart, Target, come out with it, like a little bloop, bloop, and the hand sanitizer just goes, Shh. 
across the whole thing, you don't got to worry. Mm -hmm. Totally fine. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Uh, but so in terms of moving forward from here, what do you do? What do you focus on? All of these things. For the women in the five-day challenge that have stuck with it, I could not be prouder of them. It's just a five-day challenge and it was a, you know, a clean eating guide and getting you to protein pace and doing all the things, awesome. But I could not be more proud of them for sticking with it, especially when it's so easy to get distracted right now. So easy to get distracted. And they stuck with it. And like I said, there's a gal, I'll post it in my stories. This gal that was like, I'm feeling better than ever, lost three pounds this week, right? So, so here's the one thing I want you to take away from this video that I'm doing. Like, I totally get it. It's all, things are all over the place. <laughs> and um, I'm not saying that like it's funny. It's just, it's surreal, right? It's like, man, this is a trip. This is just wild. Um, and life still happens. Life still happens. So the thing to focus on is 30 days from now, three months from now, six months from now, this is all going to be better. This is all going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Things are going to be back on track. Where are you going to be? There's a ton of stuff you can do now. I know that these gals that did this five-day challenge are on the right track and they can keep going with these things to still achieve health results for themselves no matter what's going on, right? Control the things that you can control. If you had a goal of getting healthier, stick with that goal. If you had a goal that you wanted to, you know, learn more art or something like learn more art, that's not the right word. <laughs> I do so much art. No, I draw pictures of cells. That's what I do. That's my art. Um, but you wanted to take like a drawing class or a dancing class. Do it. Just YouTube it. You know, if the classes are canceled, still move forward with your life goals, right? Like the big picture. Keep taking steps towards that. That's what's going to keep you going in this phase right now. Everybody's talking about like meditating, stress relief, all those things, absolutely. But the key thing to that is that you have to have something on the other side of it. It doesn't do any good to like meditate and have this great meditation session only to get thrown right back into chaos. Have something that you're working on for you. What are you working towards? And for these gals in the five day challenge that had a health goal or wanted to improve something, they not only had amazing results, but they're able to keep going with it. So other updates on things, um, my 12 week challenge registration opened today and we're already two thirds full. So also for people who are worried about a lot of other stuff, no, Hey, everything is driving forward, moving forward. This might be a little blip, but I guarantee a lot of stuff is still moving forward, full steam ahead. And we're already two thirds full with the 12 week challenge. The next one that we start in April, the benefit of the women that are getting in right now is that I actually do jumpstart calls with them now and they get a little extra head start on everything else. So if you somehow missed that, you know, email or weren't on the list or whatever, and you're like, Oh my gosh, I, yes, I missed it. Dang it. I want it. Okay. Message me. I'll send it to you because there's only a special exclusive discount allowed for today, um, through the end of today. So you don't want to miss out. Um, Katrina, the media is totally driving this panic nuts. Yeah, I know it's tough. It is tough. It's just tough. It's tough all around for everybody, right? Um, but again, there's still a lot of good things happening and that's what I'm going to focus on. And the women that are still dedicated to themselves and their health getting better because they know that no matter what it is going on out there, they're still going to move forward with their goals. Those are the women that I love working with. Life happens for a lot of people. There's a lot of women that do my programs and I work with women for 12 weeks. So it's a longer period of time. I can't tell you how many times there's a gal who is, you know, mom went in the hospital or they had to have emergency surgery or something happens where like it hits the fan. And they're like, Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? We always navigate those things. Tailor tweak, make sure you're still successful. And that's why these women are joining the 12 week challenge right now, even today, because they know and are confident that they are in control of their own health, their own lives, and they can still move forward. And that this will be something that passes in 30 days from now. The, the landscape is going to be completely different. And in 30 days from now, these women are going to be so much farther ahead on their goals. So that's what I encourage for you. Again, take the time you need for yourself. Do what you need to do for you, your family. Also keep in mind, women are the drivers of health care in their families and in communities. Absolutely. That's a fact. 
So you do what you need to do for you. If you, for some reason, are quarantined and you're like, what am I going to do? Get healthier. Rock your abs every day. Get a six pack. Yeah. Abs are made in the kitchen. So start eating clean. All those things, right? Do whatever it is that you need to do for you to stay on track because this will be something that passes and it's all about what you do with your time and really think about the bigger picture things that you're working towards. Like I said, if it's art, YouTube some art things. They've got awesome stuff out there. There's nothing you can't find on YouTube, right? Or Google. Dancing. Maybe I'll learn how to salsa. Who knows? Tell me if you want me to learn how to salsa or do a dance. H and I did a ballroom class. Sorry, side note. H and I did a ballroom dancing class like, oh my God, like seven years ago. I don't remember any of it. So maybe we'll do that. You know, um, I know a lot of parents are having to come up with things for their kids. So I'll be sharing some of that stuff in my stories. Just I'll, I'm going to continue <clears throat> to share the information I have to share with women to benefit women in health, in um, moving your health forward and things you can do. Absolutely. Um, but in my stories, if you like to follow me on my stories, I'll be sharing the anything else I do with my kids to keep them amused and keep them learning and keep their minds busy. Because again, this is also a good time to be an example for the other people in your life. Um, because again, in 30 days from now, the landscape is going to be different. In 60 days, the landscape is going to be different. Um, and this will be something that you can be that much closer towards your goals and everything else. So, all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know this is sort of a different kind of video, which is why I'm coming to you from my couch. Just wanted to hang out and chat, touch in, touch base with you. How you doing? It's going to be good. I promise. I promise it's going to be, things are going to change for the better from this um, once we get through this. But I'm really excited for the women that are still moving forward with their health goals. Um, yeah, so I'll post some of the things that women have said about the, even the five-day challenge. And then from there, if you're like, oh my gosh, yes, I do want to focus more on my health and do things that I can take control of, that's what the 12-week challenge is. Again, registration is open. We are two-thirds full already. Registration opened this morning. Yeah, and we're two-thirds full. So do not hesitate. We start April 6th. Um, so I'm, I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. Stay tuned to my stories just to stay updated on all the things. But that's what I got for you guys today. If you need any, any resources or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out because I'm here as a resource for you. All right. We'll see you later.